Anthony Joshua, obviously the opponent here. Um, what have you seen of Anthony Joshua? Obviously, there's a lot of hype around him. 13 wins, 13 by knockout. What have you seen as a fellow heavyweight? You know, he's he's beat he's beat the people that's been beat in front of him, like I have. So that's all he can do. Do you see chinks chinks in the armor because? Some of the stoppages have been pretty, you know, explosive. And have you have you seen some things you think oh, can exploit that? Yeah, definitely. You know, um, a lot of these stoppages, the boys are just covering up in the corner. You know, they're not they're not there to fight. And I remember when I spoke to you in London last time, you said that you'd had some trouble getting getting sparring and stuff, and you needed some more sparring. Have you had any luck getting more this time in preparation for such a big fight? Yeah, we're just uh, we're actually just going for dinner just now. We're going to talk about sparring partners that we're going to get up. Uh, Timberness, you know, um, my last fight as well, we had a couple of good sparring partners up, which was good preparation. Is that going to be the key, do you think, for this one? Because, as we know, Anthony Joshua, he's a, he's a, a bit of a, you know, he's been a beast in his in his opening 13 fights. Do you think the spa, getting the sparring and the camp spot on will be the key? Yeah, definitely. Spa, sparring's key, you know. Uh, any any training camp, you need top sparring. A lot of my, a lot of my camps, I didn't have sparring, you know, and I was more going into the fight as a sparring session you know using that as learning but if i get good sparring up go to war in the gym you know we'll be ready he's never boxed anyone as tall as you either that as you know you know as a heavyweight will that be something that he will will have to adjust to how, how difficult is it when you, you you're coming up against someone who's, who's taller than you uh, it is difficult you know and i've sparred a couple of boys that are taller than me you know and it's a lot different from punching down punching up so it'll be it'll be a problem for him. And as we heard today, I'm beaten in amateur and professional. Have you ever been have you ever been hurt in these fights? Have you has it been pretty plain sailing for you because of your size and your skill? Early, early on in my fights, you know, uh, I got I got a flush, a punch right in the right in the chin, you know. But it was good. It was good for learning, you know. Learning to keep my hands up. <laughs> but, uh, a lot, a lot of people saw that punch, you know, and they says not, not many heavyweights would have got up from it. So it was right on the chin, and I got up and to finish the boy off, you know. So I've been down there and got up and won. So that's a good experience as well. That's something that Anthony hasn't done so far as a pro. I know he had some stiff opposition as an amateur, but so far as a professional, he hasn't. Do you think that that as well will hold you in good stead? Yeah, definitely. You know, that's what that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to upset everything. And in London, in his his backyard, are you looking forward to that? It should be a huge night at the O2. Yeah, definitely. Hopefully, hopefully a lot of fans are coming out from Scotland. You know, um, and we'll do we'll do him in his own back garden. Um, if you ask Tommy, you know, they weren't too keen in taking the fight, but I pushed for it because I think we're ready just now. Yeah, I was going to say that because I, you know, Anthony Joshua, you would say, is someone to to steer clear of. As, at 21, I know yourself, you know, a hot prospect yourself. It, a lot of people might say. What, you know, why is he taking that fight? It's so much to lose, and the same with Anthony. But is this something you wanted to do? You wanted to really put yourself against the best. Yeah, definitely. You know, you I see it the way any boxer they should see it. You want to try against the best, you know. And he's been tipped as the best, so why not get in there? All these boxers that go about dodging people, they should just fight. Everyone should just fight each other, and that's it. And uh, Anthony obviously got a great reception when he boxed in Scotland. So he's, he's got some fans in Scotland as well. But do you think you could you can win all of them over on the night? Yeah, a few of them have wrote to me already, you know, saying they like Anthony Joshua, but they're behind me. So, and obviously Scotland and England rivalry. Um, I think the Scot Scots will be behind me.